What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Going to be going over the cube rep bench day. And first up, you're going to see Brad Little taking 240. His goal for the day was seven, which he does very well. The reason his reps were a little bit higher than ours today was because Brad has goals in both weightlifting and powerlifting, and he's trying to find a way to make them balance one another out. You'll notice he's doing this without wrist wraps. That gives him a lot of wrist strength and mobility. And the higher rep ranges for Brad are also going to develop tricep power and size. Next up, we've got Lance. Notice this is 345, and we're really encouraging Lance on his setup and to do things as tightly as possible because he had some nerve damage to his right side. So you'll notice each rep for him is like a, a new rep, a new single. He doesn't try to pump the reps as fast as the other guys because we're trying to teach him how to set up properly each rep, how to fire his muscles properly each rep, and really building a base that was lost because of the nerve damage. Here we've got uh, Tim Albright. This is 375. This is a PR for a double. Uh, he came to us as a you know as a big 220 really. I mean he's about 230 pounds or so. He's put on about 25 or 30 pounds since then, and he's actually transitioned very well to a 275. Um, he's built a lot like me, so a few more pounds and he's going to be great. This is John. This is 385. He was supposed to do a double, kind of uh, shortchanged himself on the first one, so he got pissed off and did three. John's extremely powerful at just over 200 pounds, and as you can see, 385 for a pretty solid triple there. For myself, this is 460. This was my goal for the day, 460 for three with the pause reps. I've been working that because uh, I'm very, very good off my chest. I get a little bit weaker or slow down about the one board to two board range, and then I power through my lockout. So by stopping about an inch or so off the chest, it maintains a lot of tightness. And from that weakened state, I have to reverse the barbell. And this has been really great for me. It's taught me how to explode. It's taught me how to position my arms in such a way to maximize the power in that range. Now, this is something for Lance that a lot of people should do, you know, when they're trying to build a base or reestablish a base. After he did his 345 set, he actually did three sets of five with 315, resetting every single rep, trying to make each one look exactly the same. This is a good, I mean, this is a really good training session for a guy like Lance, um, you know, Lance has made a lot of strides in the last few weeks because things started clicking. And, you know, there's a lot of frustration for a guy that's coming back from an injury or has a, a long-term injury like Lance had because sometimes they want to they want to skip some steps, but when they stick to their plan, the plan pays off. And as you can see, I'm going to incorporate the slingshot. Uh, spoke with Mark Bell. This is Tim using 405. And Mark told me the best way to use the slingshot for a raw lifter or really most people, but especially raw lifters, is to pause the bar on the chest and then you know power through it, not necessarily using the rebound effect, but just using the power through the off the chest and then it, locking out with your hands. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you the next time.